hey guys now in this video we will discuss something called azure rit so we will discuss azure rit and azure storage explorer so guys first thing this video is optional so you can skip it but you will need to refer this video if you want your local machine to act as azure storage account in simple words let's say you are working with azure function in visual studio and you want to connect to your local storage account from that azure function and while running azure function if you get storage account specific error for example it says unable to connect to storage account so yes in that case you will need to install azure it so again if your azure function is working fine simply skip this video so guys when we have installed azure it that means our local laptop can act as azure storage account so i guess this is self explanatory but then why azure it right so assume we are working with azure function in visual studio and it connects to azure storage account obviously every azure function somehow connects to azure storage account so using azure it we can test our function without internet and azure subscription because again our local machine it is acting as azure storage account now how you can determine that my azure function is accessing my local laptop as storage account so in your visual studio project if you open local if you open local settings.json file and if you see this line that means your local machine is acting as azure storage account so for example so as this is our function app and this is local settings.json and now see this line azure web job storage and it says use development storage is equal to true that means our local machine is acting as look as a storage account and now is how to install azure it right so to install azure it first we have to install node.js and then we can install azure it so what are the steps so first obviously we need to verify if node.js is installed in our machine so guys here we are assuming we have windows machine okay so we have to open windows powershell in admin mode and we have to run below commands so so let's open windows powershell as admin so here first let's clear the screen and now let's run these commands and see for me it's been installed and if i say yes it's been installed but for you it will say those commands are not recognized so obviously you have to install node js first okay now is assuming node js is not installed for you so you can simply download the installer from here and obviously all these steps plus all these links i will share in the description of this video so you have to download the installer from here and then you have to simply click on next 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 and you have to simply complete the installation really simple and straightforward and after that if you run these two commands again you should be able to see the installed node js version you may need to restart your machine now is assuming you have installed node js and now you can install azure it okay now to install azure it so first you have to execute this command so again you can execute this command again in powershell terminal that is over here now i'm not going to execute this command because azure it is already installed for me and guys again all these steps i have added in the description of this video and guys finally let us discuss azure storage explorer so what is this azure storage explorer so it it is nothing but a desktop app that is g that is gui to manage our azure storage that is blobs queues etc so basically from here we can connect to our azure storage account and we can work with blobs queues etc so obviously from azure storage explorer we can connect to our storage account in azure plus we can also connect to our local storage account so again 
assuming we have installed Azure it on our local laptop. So how it looks like. So for example, I have already installed Azure Storage Explorer on my machine. So if I click on start and here if I say Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer open and and guys here on the left hand side if I expand the storage accounts see this emulator that means my local laptop it is acting as storage account I can expand this I can say queues so actually this represents my local laptop as a storage account and obviously from this storage explorer you can connect to your azure storage account in azure portal as well yes of course that is also possible okay and finally how you can install it simply download it from this below link you have to just open that installer double click and you have to click next 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 and of course i will share this link in the description of this video so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening